What's up everybody? It's Georgina. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm gonna do another chit chat, get ready with me again. I'm gonna show you guys my hair, my makeup, my outfit. I have a pretty busy day today because I am taking a lot of promo pictures for Instagram, like a lot of outfit pictures. So I just want to look fleeky AF. So if you guys want to see how I transform myself today, then please keep on watching. <laughs> and I'm gonna start with my eyes and I just want to say that this part of the video is sponsored by Beauty Bay. I've worked with them before and they are literally my go-to destination to order makeup products online. So today I'm gonna be creating a beautiful eyeshadow look with this palette right here. This is the new Beauty Bay Sunset Horizons palette. This palette is so freaking gorgeous. I'm gonna do a very fall sunset eye look so it's gonna be colorful but it's still gonna be very wearable because it's gonna be like neutral colors so i'm gonna show you guys some swatches of this palette now because the colors are insane like look at this it's amazing here are some swatches of the eyeshadow palette so this is the first row this is the second row so beautiful this is probably my favorite row you guys know me this is the third row beautiful purple and blue shades and this is the last row, very nice and dark. Sorry for my eyebrows, I know they're looking a little crazy, but I'm first gonna go in with the color shell right here as kind of my base color. So I'm just gonna pick them up and apply this onto my whole entire eyelid and to my crease everywhere. Next, I'm gonna go in with the color Reef, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna use this as my crease transition shade. Just pack it into the crease for a little bit of color, some warmth. Next I'm taking some Canyon, which is this dark brown color right here. I'm also just gonna pick some up on my blending brush and I'm gonna focus this into the outer part of my crease and the outer, outer part of my lid. Next up, I'm gonna mix the color Reef, which is the one that we just used in the crease, and the color Sorbet together and kind of create a deeper warm orange color. And I'm gonna take this on a flat brush like this, and I'm gonna put this in the middle of my eyes. Hold on, let me show you guys what I mean. Just let me mix these colors together. And I'm just gonna place this in to the middle of my eye. Also gonna drag it upwards to the crease a little bit and kind of blend these colors together so it becomes kind of like a gradient effect. And then I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the color Moonlit, which is this one in the corner right here. It's kind of like a toned down mustard yellow color. And I'm gonna place this into uh, the inner part of my lid. And again, try to blend these colors together so it becomes a nice gradient. I'm gonna do a pop of gold shimmer into the inner corner with this shade called Mirage. I'm just gonna take a tiny brush like this and apply some into the inner corner for a little bit of sparkle. I'm also just gonna take a little bit of the darker brown color Canyon again, and I'm gonna take some on a small brush like this, and I'm just gonna add a tiny bit to the outer part of my lower lash line to darken it up a little bit and bring some smokiness to the bottom lash line as well. Okay guys, so I just finished up the eye look with some lashes, of course using my own GGB Beauty lashes in the style Bloom. These are very um, full and fluffy and I just think they go perfect with this eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, I'm like literally obsessed. So now for the rest of the face, I'm gonna be using my Too Faced primer. This is the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Primer. I've only used this like once, but I really like how it makes my skin look. It's kind of like mattifying, but it's also kind of hydrating. I don't really know how that works. Then I'm just gonna use some concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape in the color Medium Tan Golden. I'm actually gonna use this as my concealer and foundation today. So I am literally gonna be applying this all over my face. 
I mean, I normally apply it everywhere already, but I'm just gonna use it as a foundation today as well because this color, like the color of the concealer is so just like pretty. I don't know, I just feel like using it all over my face. So I'm getting ready today to take a lot of pictures for Instagram. I have so many pictures to take, um, like outfit pictures for different brands. So I just like to take more pictures in one day because obviously I'm gonna do my makeup, I'm gonna do my hair, I'm gonna look bomb, so why not take a lot of pictures? I'm also just using like a little sponge like this for underneath my eyes and my nose because it's really tiny and it just gets up in there. I didn't wet this though, like I need a... I'm just gonna spritz it with some setting spray. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm just gonna do some quick contouring using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This is like super dark for me right now. Like I usually use this when I'm super tan and I feel like my tan is kind of fading. So it's a little too dark. Oh my gosh, I used this concealer as like a cream contour in my, like in one of my Instagram videos. And then this account reposted my makeup video and people were attacking me because I was using this shade. Like a lot of people thought I was using this color as my foundation color. I would never just, let me just, <laughs> for setting powder, I'm just gonna use Laura Mercier and do a little baking underneath my eyes to brighten it a little. Brighten this-ish up. By the way, I'm kind of like in a different location. I usually film at my window right there, but in like my last video or the video before this, um, I also film in this location and you guys really seem to like it. So I'm just filming here right now. And also the weather is just so shitty. Like it's gray, it's raining and I have to take pictures today, but the weather is just shit. So the lighting is shitty as well. So I'm just filming here today and I ordered this filming light like off of Amazon and I really really liked it and then two days ago I was filming and I just shut off like it literally just stopped working and I couldn't turn it on again so I'm gonna return it and hopefully get my money back but it's really annoying like I spend a lot of money like it was like 80 euros or something for a tiny like small light panel so now I have to return it and I have to film with my old ring light again, which is this one right here. And I really don't like this one because it's like the lighting is very blue and like white. And I kind of prefer when the lighting is like a little bit more warm, um, like kind of like more orange lighting, basically. I'm just going to do some bronzing with my Hoola Caramel Bronzer. I really didn't feel like doing my makeup today, but... I kind of have to for like pictures and stuff. I mean, I can take pictures with no makeup or natural makeup, but I just feel like the pictures just turn out better and my face just looks better when I'm wearing a little bit more of a full glam moment instead of natural. Because I always feel like on pictures, like I could be wearing so much makeup and like you just wouldn't even notice on pictures. Okay, then I'm gonna do my lips. Let me just wipe this lip balm off my lips. I'm dead skin. Ooh. Today I'm gonna use this lip liner. It's the Peaches and Cream Punchline Lip Liner. I got like a bunch of nude lip liners and these are freaking amazing. I did already use this, but I just keep the plastic on because I'm too lazy to get it off. So yeah, okay. Let's overline these lips as always. Like, how amazing is that lip liner shade? That is so pretty. To be honest, I don't even know how I'm gonna take pictures because it's raining, so... Uh, hold on. So I think we have to like drive to a car park or something and I can take pictures there, or... Like, I really want to take pictures in the city, but... It's just not an option right now because it's going to be very ugly. And then I'm just using this NYX Abu Dhabi Soft Matte Lip Cream. This is like my go-to every single time. 
I wear this people ask me what I'm wearing on my lips, but this is like the perfect nude I always like to pair it with kind of like a darker lip liner because this is quite light like look at this It's kind of like lighter so I feel like oh my gosh my lips are crusty there's like dead skin on there but I feel like if you pair this with a darker lip liner like I just did it looks really really nice I think that's gonna be it for the makeup look I'm just keeping it like this like very simple matte I don't feel like adding highlighter because for some reason every single time I take pictures for Instagram and I'm wearing highlighter I just do not like how my face looks I don't know why but oh my gosh my desk is such a mess so i tried this curler the other day and i'm very very impressed this is the molly may curl kit hair curler by beauty works it came with a uk plug so i have to use this thing which is annoying but oh shit <laughs> wrong one i'm just gonna take my clips out and brush my hair by the way the curl kit comes with a brush and hair clips with 10 hair clips they weren't enough for my hair i had to use like my own hair clips as well but i feel like my light is like flickering or something i'm using this shrub heat protection spray suitable for all hair types um fun fact this is also from beauty bay they sent me this in like a PR box and I've been using it ever since I got it because it smells really nice and it's vegan and it's just very nice like I hate it when heat protection heat protection sprays make your hair like very sticky and hairspray like okay I brush my hair put heat protection in it then I section off this part of my hair the top part and just kind of make a mini bun it also comes with a glove it's the one that I'm wearing right now and I just twist my hair around this and just hold it for like 15 seconds and then it creates a very nice big beautiful wave curl so I release it in my hand like this and then what I do is I take a clip that comes with the curl kit and I just clip it down. You know, I actually freaking despise curling my hair because it takes so freaking long and I just cannot be bothered to curl like my whole head. It's so time consuming, but then also I love how my hair looks when it's curled. So, I mean... I'm going to take some bigger sections today, which means the waves are going to be a little bit bigger than I did last time, but I have zero patience today. I'm just doing the top part of my hair right now, which makes me excited because that means that I'm almost done curling my hair. I have to pick out an outfit now, which is kind of going to be hard because I'm going to be wearing lots of like different outfits today to take pictures in, so I just want to have one outfit that's just really really comfortable maybe like a tracksuit or something just something that i can change in and out of really quickly i think i'll just wear this tracksuit right here and this is actually something that i can take a picture in so this is just gonna be my outfit for today let me cut the tags off this is from pretty little thing by the way hold on i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like so this is a tracksuit i have it in gray already and i loved it so much that i decided to get it in nude or like this beigey color as well it has like a tie right here so you can tighten it around your waist and then these are the sweatpants they're very comfortable and like very very soft i did get the wrong size oh no i got the right size this is a uk4 but I thought I got a six because these are kind of big. So if you want this tracksuit, then I recommend sizing down because this is actually huge. I think it's like meant to be a little oversized, but okay. So these are the pants. Let me put on the top as well. Oh my gosh. I can't with my hair. How am I going to 
get this over my head. I think I'll just have to wait and take the curls out first. Should I just take out my hair now? What time is it? 1.30? I'm actually like pretty on time. This part is gonna be so much fun, like. <gasps> ah, wow! Oh my gosh. How good. Hold on, let me angle the camera so you guys can see. How good does that look? They look so nice. I'm actually like shocked. I mean, I knew it was gonna look good, but I didn't expect this. I just feel like this curler gives you like such classy kind of curls. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I just feel like it looks so bomb and just so nice look at this okay i'm gonna brush it out now i'm gonna comb it out actually with this because last time i used a brush and i felt like i shouldn't have used the brush so i'm just gonna oh wow literally wow some of you guys might think that i'm overreacting but i'm so happy that my hair looks good today because there is nothing worse than taking pictures and your hair ouch looking like shit how good is my hair today okay guys so this is the outfit so this is the top i like tighten it really really tight <laughs> and then i kind of scrunch it up like this so it's cropped and then these are the jogger pants i don't want to show my feet on camera but these are the pants. This is like a super comfy outfit. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. I really, really hope you enjoyed this little get ready with me. I have to go now because I was taking pictures for like 20 minutes. So now I'm kind of late and Jelana was waiting on me. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys like the eye look that I did with the Beauty Bay Sunset Horizons palette. I'm so obsessed with this palette. Like it's so freaking beautiful these shades are insane um but yeah i will see you guys in my next video like subscribe turn on your post notifications and i'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>